researching the latest grow tips and filming heavily edited as well as interactive live streams our two-person cannabeard team um, strives hard to roll up the highest of quality cannabis growing entertainment three times a week so if you really like what we do here please consider liking and supporting our patreon Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a small or large monthly sum to help support the channel while grow, as well as Patreons get a little bit of perks, like you get first crack at naming all of my plants, private Q&A sessions, and beyond as we grow. To learn more about our Patreon, click the link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Jimmy, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. Lunch up. That seems to The following video is rated R and is intended for an adult audience. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike, eh? As this video may contain adult themes and situations strong language and opinions, good and bad advice, cannabis cultivation and consumption. So as long as you're a responsible adult, kick back, spark one up, and enjoy the show. And works only occasionally. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn on the frickin' the bunny thing over there. It's looking a little looking a little funny. Let's turn that one on, though. Eh? Holy crap. There we go. Let's turn that one on, at least. Get the, the color grading a little more pink, if you will. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? First off, before we get too started, let me say thank you, everybody, who's made it this far to the Cannabeard Cup Round one, this was like the prototype to see if this was a thing that we could do, and apparently we can do this. Um, 
So thank you everybody who was involved. Thank you everybody who watched and supported this in any way. Big shout out thank you to our sponsor of The Grow. Uh, uh, I love growing marijuana. They've been great to me. They're also the sponsor of Round 2, which I will be announcing in the upcoming following days and weeks. Um, we have a special guest today. We do. Uh, somebody I've been wanting to get on for a long time. And of course, you know I left the best for last. You know it. Um, so I'm going to go uh, uh, hop into Discord here and uh, bring up the guest. And uh, and then we're going to have a quick little puff and say hi. And then we'll get on with the show. So uh, don't forget to like the video if you do indeed like this. Oh, as, oh, I forgot to say. Pardon me, pardon me. Voting is open. Voting is open, everybody. Uh, there's a link below to enter the voting. The voting, uh, I want you to vote on your top three grows that you enjoyed watching along this stream. You can vote on any criteria you want. You can vote on your favorite grower. You can vote on your favorite looking plant, the healthiest looking one. You can vote on the runner up, the underdog. If you want to help the underdog, you can vote on the underdog. You have three votes. Use them as you wish. Anyway, let me go into uh, uh, our room here and say hello. There we go. Hello. <laughs> okay, I need to pull up this thing here. And uh, I'm going to have to disconnect myself from camera, but I can join you. Oh, so introduce yourself for those who do not know who you are. Or would you like me to introduce you? Hi, everybody. Oh. Oh. Oh no! I pressed something weird. Sweet and sour. Ooh, one of my favorites. This one is the liver VX9. Oh, they can't hear. Hold on a second. Let me crank it up. Pardon me. Okay, let's try this again. So it's Colleen, everyone. I'm yes. sorry. I, I had it a little bit uh, 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 um, quiet there. I think, um, I think I'm dialing it in here right now. Hold on a second. Oh, crap, come on. Okay, say hello again, Colleen. Let's see if we can... Uh, uh... Hi. <laughs> there we go. Hi, I think we fixed it. Yep, we're good now. Pardon me, that was my bad. My bad. All right. So, yeah, so those are the three sweet and sour. They're going gangbusters and we pressed it down. These, this is the liver BX1. The livers. Everybody likes the liver and onions. Yeah. I I probably would never have gotten this seed myself because I would not have bought something named liver. So. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it was given to me. So I smell is great. Yeah, I've heard... I've heard people saying that they liked the smell of that one, regardless of its weird name. Yeah. And so I'm going to... Sorry? Oh, I was just going to say, I'm going to have a toke here. I, uh, I I squished a little bit of the um, the gold leaf autoflower right here. Look, It's looking a little bit dark in the camera, but it's, uh, well, it's probably because it is a little dark. <laughs> but it tastes good. Have uh, have you gotten a chance to taste yours yet, Colleen? Yeah, I quite like it. Now, how I would you describe like the taste? It's very, it's different than what I expected. How would you describe it? I have no idea what you want me to say because I have no middle pepper undertone or all of that stuff. It gets me really high. <laughs> hey, that's that's good enough. That's it's that's really what most people are looking for. Um, it tastes good, so I'm happy with it anyway. 
So in total, all together, including everything I banged off the poor buds, carrying them around all over, um, and the shake in that was um, 11 ounces and five and a half grams. Wow. I have never seen that off a of fucking auto. 11 <laughs> ounces? No, wait a second. You I said 11 know, I ounces. I made him do it again. No, we did it five times, and I made him go to the store and get new batteries. Right? And I'm like, okay, so <coughs> what? No, did you have any weight? So, yeah, we even got the weight. That's so 10 <laughs> plus 1. Wow. 10 plus 1 is 11, yep. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I can so, count sometimes. <laughs> and she was battling a wicked infestation the last month. When she came over, we thought we had all the aphids dead, and I never noticed anything for a week or two. And I was like, something's going on. She's not acting right. She's going a little funny colored and, you know, because I wasn't sure because it had those weird. It was just weird colored at the end. I agree. It was doing the same thing to me. You've got some weird straw or something in front of your camera, my dear. I don't know what it is. It's a straw or something. Yep. There you go. A piece of paper or something. There we go. It was bugging me. <laughs> Sorry. It's no, it's all good. Time. That's much better. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, is what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hop out of the uh, out of this video window here now that I had a little. I have one more puff with you, but uh, then I'll hop out of this and then we can start taking a look at the look at the. We're going to go look through all the grows and do a little uh, a little quick memory lane if we can. Uh, uh, over each one. Yeah, there was there was uh, three or four really really good ones there that uh, like two highs is amazing. There's some very yeah. standout grows for sure. Yeah, yeah. Two Although I do is... encourage people to vote on the basis of whatever they want. For real, if you want to vote for the least good looking one you that's your prerogative if you want to vote for the best looking one you vote for that if you want to vote for your favorite grower you vote for that that's why i'm giving people three options and uh it, i don't know i think it's anybody's game honestly but i got i got a couple ideas where it might go but we'll see no. you're all winners y'all joined the can of beard cup it was all fun that's the whole point yeah one thing that <laughs> bowed out then that was too bad though i got a post going up in a bit um where i said that it's it's not it's not necessarily that i knew what i was doing or did it well because i think we'll all admit these seeds were kind of not i don't know there was quite a few people whose seeds did not pop so we'll leave it at that. We could say but, not the most stable. I didn't pick the, maybe the most stable of their genetics to, to, to use as a as a grow off. I don't even. I picked know. randomly. I just thought I that was a good choice. I would have thought it would have been one of their best because it's got the name on it. You know. I a hundred percent made the same assumption. <laughs> so yeah, yeah I thought the same thing. No, but it, it is good. It is. It is good. Um, I like the outcome. I mean, I got. I, I didn't get no. Here's my. Here's my two plants. I grew two plants. Minus the shake. This is what I got right here. <laughs> you got eleven ounces, and I got. I don't know, like two or three. <laughs> yeah, I, I just had probably that. like three. Well, because we had taken all the leaves off of it, I wasn't going to deal with the aphids if I didn't have to, right? So I was just in there sitting in the tent every day, watching TV, switching bugs. That's what I did. Yeah. So gave me something to get up for anyway. And uh, yeah, we had, <coughs> and I had, and my nurses, my nurses love it. Mmm. Every time they're here, they ask how she's doing and different things, and they come in and hang out and look at my plants, and so most of them are pretty cool. 
So they are. Kind of- we cannabis is a fun plant. Even from the outsider perspective, it's interesting and it's unique and it smells like nothing most people have smelled before. And it's, you know, it's yeah. it's a little bit taboo and magical to people that aren't around it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I talked to the one, she was one of my IV nurses and her son is schizophrenic and he wouldn't live at home anymore. He was sitting somewhere with the people just kind of getting by. And so we went over what he could take and what he could smoke and how much she should get him so that he's not just supplying the entire household or whatever right that kind of thing and went through all that and her son's doing a lot better it helps him focus a little bit you know if he's got to get up and try and get to (coughs) or it helps him go to sleep at night when he's got 15 people in his brain telling him he's an idiot you know so schizophrenia sucks yeah so but no most of them are pretty cool so that's that joke that's that one thing that's so magical about this weed is as i i say it's like a magical plant jokingly but it, it truly is it, it has some pretty magical it's, properties and... it's, it's not a, it's not a joke beard like no when you're in agony constantly the depression can get so severe that you know, you wake up in the morning and try to figure out, well, how can I kill myself in the least amount of steps? Because it's going to hurt too much to get there to do it. You know, you're just so depressed, you don't want to move or get out of bed say, or anything like that, right? You want to say hi? Wait. Nope. And then when with the weed, you can at least get up. You can, it's, it may not help the pain a whole lot. It may help the pain a whole lot. It just depends what you're taking and smoke or how you're having your you know, if it wasn't for weed, I would have been dead years ago. You know, at least helps you keep from ripping people's faces. You know, <laughs> at least, you know, you're high, you're happy. You know, yeah, I have to agree. I, I, I truly believe know, cannabis okay, saved my about. life in, in its own way, too. It yeah. really gave me, it repurposed me. <laughs> it gave me new, new focus. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't uh, see the chat, so I don't know what everybody's saying. Uh, people are saying you're amazing, Colleen. People are throwing up uh, hearts and stuff, and, <laughs> and saying thank you, cannabis, and uh, <laughs> it's true. I before you clicked on, I did see one comment from Burntwood Bay. Burtwood, do you have a problem with me fucking swearing? Now you can have a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a is, no, no, no. Hold on. Said something in the in the in the thing. No. You get to have a hoot every time she's the guest swears. So yes, let me let me explain that. It's a joke. It's like taking a shot in a movie every time somebody says a line or something. So yeah. everybody's got to get stoned every time you you, you spout out a swear word. <laughs> oh, okay, I got the point. I just wanted to make sure if I hadn't sworn yet. Enough oh, okay. So it's purpose. okay. Now you guys can all get high. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look at the clock to see. I'm sorry if I wrecked your algorithm. Oh, not at all. No, 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 no. This is what it's all about. I'm glad to, I'm, I'm glad we finally got you on here. For real. <laughs> I'm glad I got to get on here. This is fun. Hey, Dragon Spawn. Welcome to the YouTube Canna family. Membership thing. Welcome. <laughs> okay, well, let's start looking at some of these cannabises, shall we? You know what? Let's look at yours first. Let's go backwards today. Let's go backwards. That, that, I've never done that. Let's do it. Oh, that's chat. There we go. There we go. Okay, hold on a sec. Can I right click and go to the top? Is that a thing I can do? No. But I can probably just go like this. Whoopsh. No. Well, here's some I early days. The flowers. There we go. We'll just, we'll just take a look around here at early days. We don't need to see seeds. Seeds are boring. So this is the 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 early adoption day by our friend Wormy. Yes. And uh, he's such a good foster daddy. I know, right? He did a good job. He raised him right. 
Mm-hmm. You taught them right from wrong and, you know, and then, you know, <laughs> took them out on their first, chaperoned their first high school dance and then brought them, brought them to you clean yeah. and on time. <laughs> Yeah, look at her there. So she got to be over three feet by three feet. I love this picture right here. There's a a picture of it in the back of his <laughs> the back of his car. It's taking up like the whole trunk. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great picture. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I would thought like, oh, you're just making a funny haha, you know? So you um, the whole back. The quick, the quick story for anybody that didn't quite understand what, what was going on here is uh, Colleen, we had wanted Colleen in on this grow and she had to go to the hospital. I'm not going to get too deep into it because it's nobody's business unless she wants to say otherwise. However, uh, she wanted to be involved and Clint Worm uh, had stepped up and said, here, I'll take, I'll, I'll raise the baby and then pass it off as soon as you're able. And, and that's what was going on there. That's why this is like a two-part Hold on one second. We got a uh, Mr. Fog was donating and making loud noises. Thank you, Fog. I appreciate it, Mr. Sir. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Colleen. What were you saying? I have absolutely no clue. I'm still right on. Okay, well let's move on here. Let's. We got to scroll through a lot of this. We got a lot of grows to go, so I'm going to try to just jump through some major life points of every grow. Holy crap! Okay, I loved this. Around Christmas, she decorated the buds. We were all laughing at this. I thought this was great. Decorating the Christmas tree. That's the way to do yeah. it. <laughs> I, I loved it. I was so happy with her. I just wanted her to feel good to get her all dressed up, you know, take a few pics. <laughs> it's good stuff. And these pictures are great. What were you using to get all these macro pictures? Were you using, what were you using? I'm just using my um, little, what you call it, um, on a stick. It's what? a, uh, what is it called? Oh, microscope. Okay, okay, yes. Gotcha. I was going to say, I, I think that's not an eyelet and a cell phone, is it? No, those are too good. No, those ones are, some of them I did with my cell phone, but it's usually, you can see the whole thing. Santa Cruz donor coming in for the chat in Super Chat. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you were talking about pH and stuff a little bit ago. Um, yep. I thought it was yesterday or whatever it was. But um, anyway, this advanced nutrients line is awesome. Sorry. Fucking awesome. <laughs> and um, it uh, has between six... And 6.3 for if you're using soil or whatever, that's usually what the pH comes out to. And then if you're doing hydro, it's five. But it always comes out, and my water comes out between eight and eight three. Like it's our water sucks. But it comes out at around pH of 8.3. And so um, this pH perfect stuff, it works like a hot pan. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely need to get something going on with my pH a little bit. Also, I'm going to try to see if I can s- uh, separate the audio thing here. I'm having a weird audio battle with the donation sounds. Uh, I, I don't want to <laughs> discourage anyone from donating, but I'm trying to... It's loud, and I just want to turn it down a little bit. That's all. Um, Discord sound. There we go. I'm just going to separate Discord sound, I believe. And that should do it. Um, No. no. You son Son of a business. business. Nope. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Nothing Nothing I can do. do. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's talk, talk about, about <clears throat> so, this so this is, you got 11, you got 11 ounces. ounces, man, those man, are those some, are some ugh. Ugh. I'm still, I'm still, still impressed. impressed. Yeah. Oh yeah, here, oh, we, yeah, go. here we go. Grand yeah, total. Total. Here we go. Here we go. Had that rack covered like that without it being at least, you know, if it was photo period, it would, yeah, I could get it big, right? Could cover the rack, but. Oh, okay. Oh, pardon, pardon me. You're talking, You're talking trim, trim as well. As well. Grand, Grand total, 11 ounces, including trim. Yeah. 
there was 10 ounces and three grams or no 10 ounces and five grams without the ounce of because there was 31 grams of um all the shake and, and gotcha you gotcha. know you trim you trim off. so uh -oh. but yeah i was quite happy with that sorry, sorry I, fucked I fucked up, up something, something here, here. Uh, okay, okay, I'll fix, I'll it. fix sorry, it. Sorry, everybody. everybody. There. I think I fixed it right there. I freaking put a sound loop on. I tried to separate the sound and I added an echo. I got it. God dang it. I'm sorry, everybody. I fixed it. I fixed it. Calm down. <laughs> okay. So uh, that was Colleen's. If you want to vote for Colleen as well as uh, any of these other uh, 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 awesome growers that we're going to be going through here today, uh, the vote links are below uh, in, in the things. Uh, you have to have a valid like Facebook account or Twitter account or Instagram account or something like that. You have to register. You have to sort of like sign in with one of those. It's it's Survey Monkey, so it's safe. Survey Monkey has been around for a while. They are they're well known. They're safe. It's they're not taking your stuff. They just want to. It, it's just a, a, a method to make sure people don't uh, 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 just cheat. And keep logging in over and over. Again. Ooh, two highs. Hanging. Um, and I know this, what's the name of that new app? What is it? Cannabuzz? Is that what it is? Cannabuzz. Cannabuzz. Yeah. That Cannabuzz app, is a buzz. I just wanted to let people know that, yeah, you can do pretty much anything you want on there. But they get to keep their that property. So then they can now use any video that you have downloaded or uploaded, however you say it. And they can use that without your permission. Really? That, on on Cannabuzz. In Interesting. That's in your agreement where it says, do you accept? And you just go click automatically, right? And I do too. A lot of apps, I just click automatically when it says, do you accept? You know, but I was uh, talking to somebody about it and we were looking into it. But that's, it's free. It's great content, but they can use it if they want. Hmm. So if the, I don't know. I don't know what using it means. I don't know if they can, you know, like spam you or if that, that means they're, they're going to, you know, because they're doing one of the lights and she was a commercial or something. I have Don't no panic. It means, it's organic. <laughs> Yeah, uh, basically all the, those sort of means is just they want rights to it. So if there's something really fancy and something goes viral, that they can somehow capitalize off of that. Um, mm. And that's something that we should definitely be aware of, man. That's not something that I would uh, I would have necessarily enjoyed to do. Um, well, not, anyway. that, not that YouTube's, you know, a bunch of dicks or anything, but uh, <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. Uh, so we're looking at two highs. We're going to go backwards through two highs here. Holy crap. These things were monster, monster trees in this thing. All hydro. One hydro, one soil. Pardon me. He is. He's growing trees. They aren't little, little bushes of weed. You know, those are fucking, he's growing huge plants. Yeah, like this... Now, if anybody wants to, uh, uh, by the way, if anybody actually wants to take an educated guess at their votes and wants to honestly sift through this and take a look, you can take a look on my website. There's a link, the community garden link. Um, you can view all of this online without being part of the Discord. Um, but uh, uh, in the long run, it, it, you should probably just join the Discord because it's kick-ass. <laughs> if you're a cool person. If you're not cool... Take a hike, because we don't. We only want cool people in our Discord. Yep. Um, yeah, Too High has inspired a whole group of people within our group to start... I, 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 I don't want to speak for anyone in particular here, but I, I'm pretty sure he's inspired certain people to change mediums, even. <laughs> I know a few people that have jumped ships from soil to, wa to hydro because they're, like, impressed at... What this person has been yep. doing right here. 
Oh, oh man. this is virtual gangster. Oh my God, you're right. I'm yeah. speaking of too high fatness. I am a freaking stoner. I'm going to jump over to too high. Thank you, sir. <laughs> God, I'm the freaking burnout. Why the hell did I think that was two highs? God damn it. I don't know. I'm dumb. Anyway, we'll continue to talk about too high, and we'll actually look at his <laughs> proper one. God dang it. I was making fun of this. He's used the Vivo Sun fan to chop down this thing. I was wondering where I wasn't seeing the hydro buckets going back. <laughs> uh. God damn it. <laughs> or gosh darn it. I gotta watch my freaking mouth. <laughs> you were uh, talking about um, getting bitched at for equipment going down because people were upset you promoted the product. Yes. And I'm just, yes, no, I got your commercial point. I think that's absolutely hilarious. I, I did not realize that people got like that. Sometimes. You know, so I apologize for the dweebs. Ah. That are, uh... No need. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's, I, I get, I, I'm grateful for this community in so many ways. Uh, it self filters a lot of the dweebs. For real, there's there's very very little dweeb action that gets through, uh, uh, and and you know, sometimes people just misunderstand something, and it's just a matter of trying to help them get through it a little bit different. You know, a little bit of compassion goes a long way. Oh, for sure, for sure. And uh, thank you for mask speech. Oh there. yes, <laughs> I've been getting messages about that speech. Somebody said they wanted to clip it. <laughs> I said, go for it. <laughs> no, thank you very much for that. Because right now I have no immune system. You know? So, like, if I get a cold, I'm fucking done. Yeah, So, no. if I get this, you know? So, my nurses have started getting their shots, though. So, that's good. So, we should probably oh, really? be getting ours. By Your nurses have getting the... the have July. they said any... I'm just curious, but have they said anything about... Any weird side effects? Are they feeling all good? Um, a few people have had uh, reactions like, you know, how you get a, a vaccine for the mumps, right? Your yeah. arm gets all red and sore and that. They've had some yeah. people like that. There's been a few people going to anaphylactic shock, but they have a history of bad uh, shit with vaccines. So yeah, if you are allergic to any part of the vaccine, don't risk it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so... Well, I'm glad it seems to be starting to roll out. Man, we need to we need to nip this freaking nightmare in the butt and move on with our planet. <laughs> yes. And can I just say to all the US watchers, we are thinking of you. We love you. We are supporting you. If you want to move to Canada for refugee status, I don't blame you. But I really, really, really am sorry that happened in your country. And um, if anybody needs somebody to talk to just because they're upset or want to bitch, DM me on IG. That's where I usually hang out. So um, it's a rough time. And I know you guys are having a hard time down there. And I just wanted to say that I love you and uh, take care of yourselves. So, so I agree. I no, I fully agree, man. This is a it's spooky time for a lot of people, and a lot of people could use a friend. You know, <laughs> there's definitely a lot of people that could that, that just uh, appreciate having somebody to talk to for whatever reason. Like, not everybody's up at three in the morning, or it's you know different things like that. And if you're on Discord or IG, just look and see who's got a light by their face, you know, or on their on their logo, whatever, and uh, like. I'm sure everybody in Discord would step up because there's a lot of really good people in there. Truly. You know, there are awesome people in there, that's for sure. I've enjoyed, I've quite enjoyed meeting all these new people. Awesome people tend to sort of uh, magnetically attract more awesome, I believe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we repel the unawesome and 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 embrace the awesome. 
So anyway, uh, uh, back to two highs here. I want to scroll through him. I'm trying to give everybody a quick little uh, 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 history here. Um, it He had two going. One was in soil and one was in hydro. And uh, it was, there was some root porn right there. Bam, look at that. Interesting stuff. Uh, I tell you, watching him, you, you gave me hope that one day maybe I could do this crap too. Not saying like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. It's just, I'm just like shocked at the results you got. Like, I want to try that. <laughs> it's so good. It's yeah, amazing, some of them. Yeah. I think, uh, 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 too high. Did you get a, have you, you're still in, wait a minute, what day is this today? Uh, this was yesterday. So yeah, he's not <clears throat> nowhere near a uh, dry weight yet, but we'll, we'll have a dry weight, uh, uh, maybe next week. Maybe we'll do a final sort of like wrap up episode at the end here and sort of talk about final weights that everybody's the cash in episode or something like that. Okay. So now let's go back over to virtual gangsta here, even though we already seen half of his, <laughs> oh, I was just saying the wrong name. Uh, so virtual gangster, instead of too high fatness for this earlier grow that I was going off about. There was, there we go. This plant. See, I was looking for the hydro bucket the whole time. And I'm like, where's the gosh darn hydro buckets? <laughs> oh man. I mean, I'm impressed at how many people did a better job of growing this than myself. Everybody else's plants look so good. Well, not everybody's. <laughs> oh, we got a couple of sad ones in the mix here, but it's not even their faults. Uh, oh man, Buttercup. Last time I seen Buttercups were very, very healthy, very uh, uh, dense plants. Very crazy. Oh goodness, they still haven't been chopped down. When was this? Today? What? Okay, well, they're ready to be chopped down. They're at a, about a 10%. They're going to just walk away on her. She better I know. be careful. It looks like Oscar the Grouch. This picture right here on the, on, go. on the left, it looks like Oscar. There's even like a little trash can shape that it's coming out of. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I want to meme that like right now so quickly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there we go. So good though, man. Wow. Those are some happy, happy, loved. Plant. This is the, the power of organic tea. You know, organic tea is uh something to something to serious take serious note to. Mm -hmm. See, right there. There's more tea. Look at this. Tea! Motherfucking tea! scroll way back here so this is uh the buttercup grow you can see on screen what uh oh you can't see on screen that's what's going on oh my goodness hold on those are beautiful um and then here if i move this down a little bit like no wrong thing There we go. Now I got the name on screen. There we go. Gosh darn it. I gotta watch my mouth here. I was pissing people off with my mouth. <laughs> okay. No fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah, it's true. Um, you can't make everybody happy all the time. Now, if you just scroll back through here, through Buttercup's uh, uh, arsenal of... <clears throat> posts here, you will see that T is a reoccurring character. And uh, uh, it is happy, happy, happy plants the whole way. I almost want to say that T might be the one of the better ways to introduce a lot of your nutrients. Like, why not make nutrient T instead of just nutrients? Why, why bother? Like, why wouldn't you aerate it? And if, if you're using some form of organic or mineral based... It feels like, why wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. That's what I do with advanced nutrients. I just get the water, and then I just start pouring each one in there with the bubbler, and you let it go for an hour, and then you pour it on your plants. 
Yeah, aeration and like, I mean, if you really want to go crazy to get into proper tea, you should let it go overnight. And that'll give a lot of time for microbes to build up and stuff. But, you know, this is like the same kind of deal I've been doing with Super Thrive, Molasses. I've been hesitant on the tea since that I used that boogie brew and it killed my white widow mother. So really? I haven't really been doing a lot of teas again. So Boogie a Brew killed something. There. I find that strange. I wonder if All you got the a other bad plants loved it. Or just Every one didn't one, just my white widow mother fucking hated it. She turned brown and died in three days. Bummer. Yeah. So there was a, a break off that uh, 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 Buttercup tried to to clone and keep alive. It didn't quite make it though. Okay, let's go on to K Dodger here. Let's take a look at K Dodgers. Oh, K Dodgers got jars, jars of the weeds. Let's see here. What's he saying here? Uh, humidity pack. Uh, guess at the combined two is just a little over five ounces. Looking good. <clears throat> Look at the colors. Man. K Dodgers was some of the... God, it's like so many. I, don't, I, I wish I could vote for everybody. Or at least half of them I yeah. want to vote for. There's just... Aren't it's going to be hard for me to pick my three. I'll be honest. I think he's, I think he's got some of the nicest pictures. I think he did the best photography when it comes to ones like this. Yeah, pretty good pictures for sure. And just like, it was such a happy, dense plant. It was just so bud heavy. It was so solid. Yeah. Like those nugs came like out. Like two C's <laughs> thick. <laughs> you know, thick. <laughs> Man, like some of these pictures are just like, and it was going on to a point where like, dude, cut it down. It's going to go moldy on you. We're getting scared for him. And it's good. It was budding way ahead of everything, and it just, I don't know, that was like the ha one of the happiest plants in the... Yeah, for sure it was. In the grow, for sure. I love this kind of a stage right here after a heavy defoliation with lots of little babies all coming up. It kind of looks like a, like a fractal or like a... a, a the kaleidoscope uh, to me. Yeah, the yes. There's like a cannabis kaleidoscope effect you get when you look at these plants when, after a heavy defoliation from the top like this. I love it. Do you know who's are really good looking are uh, Jay's. Jay Windsor 2000. He oh, has, I know. I, he does, however he does his thing, they always look great. Yeah, I know. I was bummed out to see that he couldn't get his going. He was in this contest and he could not he could not get his seeds to to germinate for some weird reason. I think the we think that the only thing that could make any sense is that his local post office was microwaving it or something like that. They saw it in an X-ray and was like, froze or like, did, I don't know I don't, how it went frozen. It was yeah, I don't know, but it just he couldn't get any of them to go. Yeah. It was a drag. But quite a few people had trouble. Clint had trouble too. Yeah, you sent him some and they got crushed in the mail. Yeah, I sent them poorly. I apologize. I was just like panicking. I thought that was going to be good enough. And no, that was definitely not. I didn't send them very well protected. Ah, speaking of which, <clears throat> um, here, I got to switch over for one second. Um, oh, wait a minute. Where's my camera? Oh, that's right. I got to turn it back on now. Activate. Camera, activate. No, deactivate. Gosh darn it. There we go. I got proper little capsule things. Where the heck are they here? These things. Little capsules. This time for uh, Cannabeard Cup Round 2. So they'll be protected this time. I'll make sure that they're good to go. Uh, uh, whereas last time I had a little bit of problems with some of the seeds that I sent out. <clears throat> Will not be happening. I'm learning from my mistakes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, Romans. Let's take a look at Romans. Also, by the way, uh, K-Dodger was also using teas 
And if I'm not mistaken, I want to scroll back here before I before I say what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure he was using Guy Green's as well. Yeah, right there. Guy Green and Microbial Mass looking good. Good stuff, good stuff. That's what I'm using currently on my auto flowers out in the garage. Um, Hell yeah. If anybody wants to get rid of some of that freaking mass stuff, send it my way. That stuff is pretty cool. My, yeah, it is pretty mass. pretty massive stuff. Um, it was really 121 that day there? Oh, I you poor dude. I might have a spare bottle for you, Colleen. I, I bet oh. yeah, I do have a spare bottle. As a matter of fact, I know I have a spare bottle, so it's yours. <laughs> How about that? Thank you, sweetie. I won't even beat around. I know I got one somewhere, so I, I'll give it to you. Um, oh, thanks, dear. No problem. So no where's, problem. Where's Bunny? Um, she actually went to the store to grab mushrooms. She wanted me to cook a, a beef stroganoff tonight, and she wanted mushrooms. And she's like, "I want to go for a walk. I'm gonna go get some mushrooms." <laughs> she loves her mushrooms. <laughs> So, uh, 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 Romans, Romans come up with 121 grams in total. I'm bad at my math. That's like, I don't know how many ounces oh, that is. Oh, that's what I had asked. I could, I, that's how much you got in the weight. I was like, it was it really that 28 popular? ounces. So, like, we're talking like 25, 25, 25, 25. It's like four, almost five ounces. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Um, good looking buds, though. And I'm glad to see that I, I, I was having some, what I thought to be some weird color growths that I thought I fucking did something bad. I did something a little bit bad, but um, though it, it just legitly has some strange colors. Like, this is a really good picture of it. There was purples and yellows, and it was kind of technicolored. It was kind of cool. Yeah. It spooked me. I thought I had done something wrong, but then that was one of the reassuring things is looking through other people's photos. I was seeing similar growth patterns on other people's. Yeah. Yeah. He got some nice looking plants there too. Ooh, my neck. But I noticed on almost every single one of them, they are, well, except for the last, two that are left um too high and who else is it buttercup that we have whichever which one whichever two are, are left to be oh for the up. weight no um for uh the color change in the like the leaves themselves not the buds but because i had those weird colors on mine you had them on yours yeah i noticed them on a few different ones not all of them got it though no, but they didn't all look the same either, though. No, there was some very, definitely varying phenotypes in these seeds, for sure. I mean, I've yet to find many <laughs> auto flowers that are truly stable that you're going to get the same result. Yeah. Few, anyway. Yeah, even, even out of the three sweet and sour I got, two of them are the other ones, so... Uh oh, the dreaded mosaic. Dun dun dun. No, it's not. <laughs> it is a weird leaf thing that happens, though. Yeah, and they say that the mosaic or the tobacco mosaic, whatever they call it, they say that it won't really hurt your plants. It's just gonna fuck up the colors. I now is that true? Or I have read that. Fuck up your plant. I have read that. I, I, I looked up. Uh, I thought when I thought I had it, I, I looked it up pretty good. I might even have had it on that one plant. It's very possible. Um, but uh, uh, regardless, from what I read, it was basically a, a minor hindrance that would slow down your your maximum yield and maybe your potency a couple of percent and make it look a little funky monkey. But that's about it. New Winter, you're a freaking saint. Thank you very much in chat. If you do want to get in on early, the ground up for round two, I love growing marijuana.com's cheese autoflowers is going to be the round two. 
Uh, and, and yes, please don't forget to go cast your votes, people. Uh, I'm going to leave the voting up for, uh, I'll probably do two weeks or so. I'll probably do this, let it up for this week. I'll do a, 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 a final tally. Everybody should be dry and have all the dry weights in next week. And uh, um, and then we can sort of go on from there. And then I'll start to announce the, the round two. Um, where are we here? I got lost. Do, 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 do. Lady Five Fingers. AKA, oh, been re we, we should almost rename this, but we're just going to leave this name so people don't get confused for now. Hey, look, it's Bud Garcia. <laughs> and the Dab Blaster. Somebody's a dead fan. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. We were talking about this last time, the interesting drying box. I actually like this idea. This is not, not a bad idea. And if you're really worried about smells and stuff, you could put one of your filters, your carbon yeah. filters, up on the top of this puppy. <laughs> And suck it all out. It's a little bit more discreet when you have people over and you're in an apartment or something like that. Yes. That you know, it's hard to do in small spaces when it stinks that bad. Yeah. That's one of the things I liked about uh, uh, if you're growing in a small tent and just doing small operations and cutting down everything in that tent at once. You can sometimes use that tent as your drying space. Yeah. Not always. Conditions. Uh. Uh. uh but sometimes you can. Yeah, I wonder why they call it the gold leaf. Hmm. Could be because the whole freaking thing went yellow. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm not sure. Mine went all yellow. It's weird. Some people's went super yellow and still like turned out good quality buds and everything. But the leaves went super, super yellow on some people's. Whereas other ones were just green as... Pastures right to the to the very end. Oh, I didn't look at there. Let me see if we actually got a weight on this yet. Um, we did not get a weight on this one just yet. Oh, I remember all these. Yeah, that's right. There was all these really cool the Golden Girl combos. That's right. So this is Lady Five Fingers on the voting forums there, everybody. Again, you can always join the Discord and take a look at all of these if you want to really make a decision, uh, an educated decision, um, as well as you can go onto my website and uh, see it all on the Community Garden tab. Uh, so you don't have to be a member to see that. Contest for okay. Pardon me? And this is the person who comes. Oh, she's talking to somebody else. Okay. So, I'll continue yeah, my, to chat the there for my now. My nurse is, is here a few minutes early, so... Hello, uh, nurse! Hello. <laughs> I was just <laughs> explaining to her what I was doing when I'm like... Shh, 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 you know? so, gotcha. But, yeah. So, yeah, so... Um, I'm pretty happy I got that blaster. I was starting to wonder what was going to happen. Because, like, I was like, ah, I was hoping it was getting here. Because of the tips in it, right? And then I'll just... When I saw that video of them using it for basketball, I was pretty pissy. So I'm hoping it's not uh, busted up or anything. It's, it's not rattling or anything, so that's good. Hmm. Yeah, I hope not. Well, if it does if it does show up cracked or anything, you know us. We'll, 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 we'll make yeah, it right. Yeah, no, already said he would take care of it. He's such a... Yeah. Yeah, he, he's yeah. got you. He's got you. If it, if it's anything wrong with it, obviously. Yeah, I would. I can always order glass parts, right? Like that would be a big deal or whatever, you know, kind of deal. It was. It's the wood that I would be concerned with if it got snapped or something. Because. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next in chat here is oh we already it's too high fatness, but we already went through too high fatness. Go check out Too High Fatness on YouTube if you're not already, by the way. Um, next up here is Grateful Anubis. Now, this was a pretty massive haul, as you can see here. Uh, I hope you could fit it all onto one scale there. Uh, the grand total was one-fourth of a gram dried, and it tasted like orange bottle caps. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I admit there's a strange taste in mine. I don't dislike it. It was somewhere. It was hard to describe. I was getting somewhere between like a, a bit of a perfumey kind of taste, and let me smell it again. Maybe it'll come back to me what I was trying to get. I don't know. There's a weird smell with it, and I like it, but it, it, it is a strange smell. Um, poor Anubis's plant just never matured. He just had like this little premature palm tree little thing. And uh, he was going to cut it down. And we're like, no, no, don't cut it down. It's so adorable. So he kept it for a joke. And, uh, well, the joke's on him because he got a whole half quarter gram. Ha ha! You stuck to it all that time and effort. <laughs> you got yourself a weird tasting doobie. Good for you, sir. That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it was still fun to watch. I, I, I enjoyed the pictures and enjoyed the... Enjoyed the um, enjoyed the journey, so it is what it is. Um, and on next here is Jason Windsor. This is actually one of the ones we were talking about here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Right. hey, get out of there with that. Anyway, <clears throat> hey Kenny, welcome to the Kenna family. AKA the YouTube membership tab thing. Welcome aboard. Now, poor Windsor, I was freaking legit with other people excited to see this man grow some cannabis. Now, if you want to go see what we're talking about and see why we were excited, you can go check him out on Instagram and you should do such a thing. Uh, but uh, I, I, I do hope that maybe you uh, uh, join me for. Um, the Cannabeard Cup round two, sir. Uh, uh, I hope that you haven't been completely terrified off of this brand of seeds. And if you have, I won't blame you. But uh, um, I still would like to see you join one day. So who knows? That's all up to you, sir. But anyway, moving on. He couldn't get them. The, the, his local post off was freaking microwaving his seeds or something. They just wouldn't sprout. None of them. And this this guy knows what he's doing. And they weren't sprouting. So I don't know what the heck was going on. Oh, the cup dates got moved into a weird spot. There we go. Next up is Burntwood Bay. This is the Dab Blaster guy, by the way, folks. Uh, if you need a dab, not that that should skewer your voting in any shape or form. <clears throat> but uh, 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 if you want yourself a Dab Blaster, it's dabblaster.ca. Anyway, uh, 80 grams with about 15 shakes. So 90, uh, 95 ish, almost 100 grams. Not bad. Not bad. And he grew in like old cloth, like t shirt cloth or a uh, 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 landscaping cloth and like chicken wire, homemade baskets on a bed of perlite. It was an interesting grow. I said it looked like he was growing on a bunch of kitty litter. <laughs> But he had some pretty good success with it. It was quite interesting. It was very interesting. Yeah, there we go. So he had it uh, in this bucket with a bunch of perlite on the bottom. And uh, it looked like a bed of kitty litter. There we go. There's a kitty litter view right there. <laughs> but it, it worked well. Like, it was a happy plant. There you go. No joke. So for a homemade pot in a, in a weird kind of setup like that, it it did pretty darn good. I was impressed. Anyway, that's Burntwood Bay's grow. And then, oh, wait a minute. And that's it. Then there's me. I uh, I took some pictures of the final here. Uh, and I'm going to give you my weight. I, I actually have it written down here somewhere. Hold on a second. So I'll give you my weight next week. But let me see if I can find it. If I can find it real quick, I'll tell you what it is. If not, my desk is a freaking mess here. I'm not going to dig for it. No, it's filed away somewhere. I'll have to look. I'll have to find that little sticky note or whatever I wrote it on. Um, you know, considering how weird the plants grew for me this whole time, I was growing them in super soil, and then I put a really hot uh, uh, routine on them with uh, nutrients, and it almost burnt the crap out of them. And then I remembered that I was using a really hot super soil, 
So I backed the fuck off and gave them nothing but water from that point forward. And they kind of did good. They, they recovered from some of it. And then they started getting some deficiencies because I should have fed them a little bit more in the midpoint a bit. I don't know. I'm a little bit new to some of these methods. And, uh, uh, well, I just done fucked up a little bit. Uh, all in all, it wasn't that bad. I got, uh, I don't know, there's about three. I'll have to give you an exact weight. But there's about three or four ounces there total. Around 80 grams, somewhere in that range, from the two plants. I didn't get a very huge result. No sorry. No sorry, Bob, because I kind of stunted the... Oh, there it is right there. Oh, oh. Pfft. I wrote it right there. Wah, wah, wah. If I just read, I would have said, there it is. I knew I wrote it down somewhere. And I, what did I say? Around 80 or so? So I was pretty close to that. Okay. Well, that's probably where I wrote it down. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where this piece of paper is. I know I wrote it down somewhere. And I can't find it. But there we go. And 33 grams of shake. You're reading that right, folks. 33 grams of shake. That was a lot. And you want to know why? Because I used the trim bag. And you want to know why? Because I over-dried my bud. For sure. I over-dried it. And I got the trim. Oh, yeah. The trim that's in this has got a lot of little micro buds. So it's going to make some good, like, edibles or something. And uh, the buds themselves look pretty darn good can't complain too hard i'm actually going to come on over here and have a a little poof um here i can show you one of the big buds here big buds yeah big bud yeah that's medium bud ah that's a pretty good size bud now the lighting's gonna suck there yeah, i'm not gonna really get it close enough to give you a really good shot but um Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe I can. Let me see if the top... Oh, my God. You're going to see my total disaster of a desk, maybe. But uh, Top camera? Oh, the top camera's working. There we go. So here, maybe I can... Once it focuses... Nice colors, though, to be honest. Oh, come on. I don't got very steady hands, that's for sure. I'm trying. I'm legit trying to hold it steady, and I just can't do it. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna have a toke. Anyway, I squished some of that bud this morning on uh, on the Discord uh, session room. Join the Discord. Lots of fun happens. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Colleen. Here, I'll, uh, I'll switch over cameras here for a second, and I'll come join you. Um, here we go. I got to turn off this camera, and, and then I scooch down to the room, and there we go. Doesn't that look beautiful? I done fixed it. I can join. Yeah, my, my weed turned out good, and it tastes strange. I like it, but it tastes different. Um, it's got this weird sort of spicy... Like a pepper. Yeah. But I don't know. It's, it's not Halfway pepper. pepper, halfway perfume. It's a weird taste. I can't say I've ever had it before. Like, I don't ever remember tasting it like Goldie before. It's something different on the palate, for sure. I can't wait to see how she squishes. Is anybody else going to be squishing? <coughs> That's what this is right here. Oh, is it? Sorry, yes. that part. It's awful dark, eh? Uh, again, everybody says that. I, it's because of the way my lighting is set up. Because when I get close to my camera, it's in the shadows. You can see my hand goes in the shadow, right? Okay. <coughs> but it, I'll admit, it was a fairly dark squish. And that's because my bud is very dry. I over-dried it. <coughs> oh, but the flavor I'm, I'm is glad pretty cool. Knows what he's done. Yeah, the flavor is good. You know, I'm glad Wormy knows what he's done. So. Oh, what do you got there? This 
is that uh, uh, hold on a second. Is that um, what you call it? That uh, what's in your <laughs> the dab well, blaster? Yes. <coughs> I was gonna open it, and then I figured, no, I'll wait and do it when you guys are around. That way, if I need to cry, I've got support. <laughs> Well, he packages them pretty good, so I, 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 there should yeah. be bubble wraps and all sorts of stuff like that. I, I'm feeling pretty confident that it should be secure. Sure. Let's hope so. Dun, dun, dun. Again, little little snakes come out. Spring! Those <laughs> spring-loaded snakes. <laughs> Somebody sent me that. That was the best. It's not put together. Yeah, if you put it, if, if the parts will be in there packaged separately. Aw, Burntwood, you're awesome. Thank you so much for doing that for me. So, there's three in there. Ah, there it is. So is it better to ship them like in pieces like this or all together? Uh, separate packaging uh, around each thing is, is probably the best because it'll uh, uh, protect it the best. Okay. See, I got, I got yeah, sent a package of some stuff a few good. weeks ago. And this was... See, look. Ah! There is snakes in it. Yeah. <laughs> I love I it. Kids and we had stuff like that, or you know, you touch somebody with a little zap it thingy, you get out of the quarter. I miss prank toys; those were fun. Yeah. But I was making yeah. a joke on a stream a few weeks <laughs> prior to these showing up about how I wished one of the companies would send me a joke once and like fill a box that's supposed to be nutrients with freaking snakes in a can or something stupid like that. And I'd just <laughs> laugh my ass off on stream, right? And then somebody sent a couple of things via my Amazon gift thing. And uh, uh, one of the things that was in there was a can of snakes. And it just cracked me right the fuck up. But I loved it. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. I put teeth on top, so I can't really tell the color properly. But uh, it wasn't very dark ash, so I'm hoping that we'll see how it goes. I'll leave it in some jars for a few more weeks. and Unless Wormy comes back and feels like squishing the shit out of a bunch of buds. And then he has free reign whenever he wants to squish them. Yeah, actually, like there's a good sort of level in the middle of the cure that seems to be pretty good. I, I know there's some debate on whether or not the full cure is worth cu uh, curing all the way through when you're going to be squishing it or, or making an extract out of it. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. I think that's a bit debatable, and I don't really know what side of the fence I'm on personally yet. I think as long as it tastes good and you have a puff, you can do what you want with it, whether it's two weeks, a month, or a year. If it tastes Touché. good and it doesn't stink like, you know, cat piss or anything... Or have little white spots on it from mold or something. Then there is sort of a window where the the chlorophyll has broken down and and like it's it's hit a, a, a sort of a, a a butter zone of dryness where it's smokable. I guess I, I don't know. There's again, there's a lot of debate in there because I think different medicinal purposes uh, uh, that are within like different cannabinoids like degrade over time and stuff too. So. Some things are better yeah. uh, captured fresh, so it, it all depends what you're looking for. Or frozen if you freeze it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Or fresher at any rate. Mm -hmm. So the next one is Friday. Are you going to do that? Do you think? Next which? Uh, show. Oh, uh, no, I, I have stopped I have stopped the Friday grows for a while. 
Um, I'm sort of using that room to grow peppers right now, and I'm making some recorded videos that I'm actually going to be popping out real soon. Uh, all my cannabis is in the one garage thing right now. <coughs> and uh, I'm just going to try to focus a little bit more this year on, on doing some actual content alongside live streams so it's not all live. <laughs> or more things like this. More things with guests. If they are live, you know, a little more podcasty style things, not just me talking and getting high the whole time. <laughs> it's good to have someone to talk to, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's always nice to have some ideas off of and ask about, you know, do you know why this leaf turned yellow? That kind of thing. Absolutely. Or even just to share your day with. It gets pretty lonely for some people that can't get out and, you know, don't have family or friends around to help them, so... If you guys know anybody that's like that, you should give them a phone call or go Zoom with them. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, that's the thing. We all yeah. got to Zoom, eh? Yeah. Zoom is yeah. just this this sort of telecommunication of the the age of web cameras and, and and talking to your friends on your phone webcam is is a big deal man and um i i am pretty grateful for that to be here you know i have had a piece of tape over top of my laptop camera window since the day i bought it i have never taken it off I never used the camera on it. I had no need to, right? So, I, have a, I have a tablet where there's a sticker over top of the camera, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, my tablet doesn't have a... a, a isn't isn't done that way. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid on the Siri knows every day what you're doing, where you're going, when you took your shit, you know? And yeah. it doesn't take much to have your info hacked, so I just like to... I don't know. A little paranoid about that stuff. Yeah, it, it <laughs> is good to be at least at least self-aware and cautious in this day and age. Yeah, I agree uh, uh, with with Lucky Monkey in in chat. There, you guys should all dab that like button if you have not yet liked that like button or dab that like button yet. And uh, don't forget, there is a link below to go vote. This was a grow off sort of. It was a grow together. I don't want to say grow off because I didn't really want it to be a competition ever. But I got some fun like uh, 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 prizes that'll be uh, uh, awarded to the winners. They'll be fun. It's nothing huge, but I think everybody's going to like it. Um, so uh, New Winter is dumping the survey monkey uh, link in chat there. <clears throat> you just need to log in with whatever social media you use to, to make sure that you're a real human being and not a bot or something. And yes. uh, vote for your favorite three growers. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> and big, big, big thank you to my above guest up here, Colleen, for taking time out of her day and uh, uh, annoying her... Thank you for having me. And, and annoying your nurses and, and everything. And <laughs> <That's> okay. <clears throat> thank you're, you so much. Used to my shit now. Also, everybody, if you if you haven't had a chance to, you should go and check out Colleen's cooking video on the Shatter Gummies <clears throat> that uh, 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 me and a mutual friend all collaborated to help produce for her. So go check out that, yes. that video. It's awesome. And it's not just Shatter. You can use um, any kind of cannabis in it. You can just... If, extract if, gummies, let's yeah, say. Yeah, any ex cannabis extract in it. it. All you need to do... If it's more liquid, then you need to add more jello and lecithin. That's all. So it's pretty easy. Awesome. Thank you. I learned so much, man. I've been, <clears throat> I hope you read the comments on there once in a while. There's a lot of people like, oh, my God, thank you for this information. There's a lot of people loving on that video. All right. <laughs> I will check that out once we're done today then. Thank you. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, everybody else, for supporting and hanging out with us today. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video on the way out, all that kind of jazz. Don't forget to vote. Uh, I will do another update next week. And uh, 
The voting will be open for two weeks. So we'll see you before next week, though. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Researching the latest grow tips and filming heavily edited as well as interactive live streams, our two-person Cannabeard team um, strives hard to roll up the highest of quality cannabis growing entertainment three times a week. So if you really like what we do here, please consider liking and supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a small or large monthly sum to help support the channel while grow, as well as Patreons get a little bit of perks, like you get first crack at naming all of my plants, private Q&A sessions, and beyond as we grow. To learn more about our Patreon, click the link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.